Oh, hi there. Uh, this is a commentary for sustainability modeling lecture number four on uh, population growth dynamics. Uh, so I wanted to provide a little bit of an overview of the lecture and um, point out some other uh, issues that are coming up for the class. I always have written down what I wanted to say. So in this class, we introduce a, um, a model of, of world population growth dynamics. Uh, we use this, um, we do this using population as a stock and uh, population births, uh, births of people and deaths of people as the fluxes. Uh, and we tie all these together uh, using a model that's referred to as the logistics model or the logistics equation, um, which is an interesting model because it introduces a, a variable that it's uh, been used a lot in, in, in ecology and, and in other fields, so which is the carrying capacity. And we spent some time in the class talking about the carrying capacity and the concept, and, and that's going to be coming up um, and uh, and it comes up the concept comes up a lot in um, in issues of you know simulating uh, you know the, the dynamics of, of several variables not just population but other issues as well anything that anything that has a some possibility of being finite or some possibility of being limited it's it's uh, it's, it's usually described by some form of this uh, carrying capacity concept uh, so I want you to think a little bit about uh, this concept because it's going to come up and I. You know, do some research, look it up, um, and, uh, and try to understand the uh, you know different ways it's been it's been uh, approached in, in the literature. So I want to want to throw that at you for you to do. Um, so if you look at what we've done in, in class uh, so far in terms of modeling, we look at two uh, single stock models. Uh, you know, the first one was the one we did in, in lecture uh, number three, which was the the model with the body weight um, as the single stock. And now this one uh, with population. Uh, so we are going to start moving now. We, you know, we're getting ready uh, to do two things. Uh, I think the first one is um, is is, is going to be your first. Um, it's, it's sort of a sort of a, a, a warm up or, or pre assignment. Okay, which is I want you to build a single stock model of any phenomena that you choose. So I want you to choose uh, the phenomena that you want to model. It could be anything. It could be any. It could be an environmental uh, issue, but it could also be other issues, uh, 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 issues in, in economics, whatever your background is, I'm sure you're going to be able to find something that can be described by, by system dynamics. So I want you to spend some time thinking about doing that and building a very simple, I'm, I'm asking, you know, something that has, you know, single stock, you know, single flux in, flux out with some formulations. And I want you to get acquainted with building your own model on Vincent using you know the instructions that we developed uh, for lecture three where we built the, the body weight model step by step or uh, you can look at the population model which is slightly uh, more involved because it has this logistics um, you know uh, formulation built in doesn't add a whole lot of complexity but it's just uh, you know a, a little bit more a little bit more complex so I want you to um, build a model of your own uh, in Benson um, and uh, and choose what you want to model. I, I and and I the reason I call this a warm up is because I'm also going to ask you, and I'm going to be posting instructions this week for your first formal assignment. Uh, there's remember this class has two assignments. One is the review paper, which is which is the one I'm talking about now, and the second one is more like a term project. So for this first assignment for your term paper, I'm going to ask you to actually pick the paper that you will review. Okay, so I'm going to give you some criteria for picking the paper, okay? But I'll give you a heads up that the principal criteria for choosing that paper is gonna to be to choose a subject that you're interested in. Um, either you have an intellectual interest in, or it relates to your research or to your area of interest. Um, and I don't, I don't know exactly what that may be, but I'm sure you have one. Uh, and I want you to go to the literature and, and pick a paper that, um, it, it, it will also need to fill other criteria. I mean, we want to pick a subject that that um, is amenable, it's treatable through modeling. Uh, so, uh, so I'm going to ask you to do that, and uh, and essentially uh, I'll give you some criteria to choose the paper, and also I'm going to I'm going to post the specific questions that I want you to address in this review. So that's going to be posted this week. I want to give you a heads up, but. Um, so that's two things I'm going to ask you to do. The first one is to is to build a simple model based on your interest, and if if it works for you, maybe you want to make that model line up with the paper you want to review or the topic you want to review because it's going to make it easier for you to do a review if you if you do it this way. Okay, so um, I want you to do that, um, and um, 
I think the, the next thing that we're ready for now is uh, to actually look at models that um, have more than one stock. So we're going to start next week to look at multiple stock models. And, um, and these models tend to be essentially uh, more complex versions of these single stock models. Essentially, each, each, uh, now we have, we're going to have more than one stock. Okay, that's why we call them multi-stock. But also, these stocks can interact. So if you imagine, um, you know, population interacting with another stock, um, and we've seen, uh, you know, in the, in the very first lecture, we, I, I gave some examples, and, you know, food could be a stock, energy could be a stock, the economy, or, you know, some variables in the economy can be stocks. So we're going to start building more complexity into these models. But it all starts with a pretty good understanding of, um, you know, of these single stock models. The model, the individual model, and I'm going to ask you to build, you, you know, your model, this first warm-up assignment, I want this due in about a week. Uh, so I'm going to post that also uh, on, the, on the Facebook page. Uh, so... Um, so it's uh, you can see that you you know you don't need you're not you're not gonna need a whole lot of time to build the model. It's but the process of building the model is gonna get you to think, um, and and that's actually the that's that's what I'm trying to capture with this first exercise is to make you think about a problem in a in a very structured way. And the structured way is the system dynamics approach, where you have the stocks, we have the fluxes, and and uh, you know things go in and out, and things need to add up. And then once thing changes, the prop you know it propagates through the system. It creates changes in the rest of the components. All these things um, uh, I need you to to really you know grab your arms around. And uh, and for that I want to I want to ask you to build it. So I'm going to be posting uh, this uh, these instructions on our Facebook page. Uh, and uh, hopefully um, there'll be some other instructions there um, because we need to have a mechanism for you to share your model with me. So I'm going to ask you to create. A uniquely shared folder in Dropbox with me, so you can we can exchange information individually. So um, that'll that'll take care of it. So I'll I'll, I'll be posting this. I just want to give you a heads up. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the lecture. Have a good weekend. I um, I'm taping this on a Sunday night. I'm leaving tomorrow morning Monday on a trip. Uh, so these videos are going to go on on you know live uh, tonight. Um, that explains my you know my lack of a of a, of a tie and um, better attire, but um, it's Sunday night so. I'm just about to um, to tune into the Super Bowl. So anyway, um, have a good um, have a good rest of the weekend, as short it may be, and have a great week. Uh, if you have any questions, just post them on Facebook. Okay, have a good one. Bye bye.